Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Turning Stone Classic 22. We are here at the Turning Stone Casino in Verona, New York. You are watching this via AZB TV in co-production with NYC Grind and, of course, the mothership AZ Billiards. I'm Upstate Al, and I'm going to be joined in the booth shortly by Mr. Jerry Forsythe and Mr. Ed Colhane as we're going to try to call this match as close as we can between these two champions right here, the mighty Earl the Pearl Strickland versus Johnny the Scorpion Archer. Defending champion Earl Strickland. Johnny has taken down this event six times, going for his seventh. But before we get started with this, we'd like to thank a lot of people down the road that are making this happen. First and foremost, azbilliards.com. You can go there and see the live scoring of every match taking place right now and the brackets as we proceed along with this prestigious event. Also, we'd like to thank some of the sponsors on the Josh Tour. Tiger Products, Q Shock, J and J, Phil Capel of BilliardPress.com, PoolOnTheNet.com, and Dan Hydric, Hydric Custom Cues, and on the opposite side of the board, making this happen. Lacasse and talking about Lacasse, how about you get a little tune of this? Introducing Lucasi Hybrid, a whole new level of performance and technology. A cue with a revolutionary X Shock dampening system, eliminating vibration. G5 grip technology for enhanced traction and stability results in maximum cue control. Total sweet spot construction means unmatched power. And the zero flex point ferrule provides dead on accuracy, giving you the confidence you need in every shot. Lucasi Hybrid, the only cue that matters. Well, Mr. Foresight and Mr. Ed Colhane, what do you think about this match? <laughs> I think this is going to be one to watch. Could be one for the ages. You don't want to miss this. A little update, uh, Jeremy Sosi just defeated Dave Dea, and I think he did a hill hill on the snap. Ooh. Uh, I, I, I know there was a, a lot of balls on the table. I looked away. It could have been a combo after the break, but it could have been on the snap. And he, Jeremy came back from 8-7 and... Uh, Tied it up and on the snap, he, he took it down, and now Dave Dea is eliminated. And Jeremy has to play uh, Ernesto, I believe. You got Warren uh, playing Brandon, and what we're really focused on here is the, one of the greater games of the whole tournament, I guess. There'll be another good match this round as well. Shane Van Boning versus Mike DeShane. We'll keep you up to date on that. Yeah, there'll be so there's so many great matches. This this was. Uh, this is a highlighted match right here. It's just, you know, two killers and defending champ and the six-time champ. How could you not have it on, correct? Two Hall of Famers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess that counts. I guess that does count. You can count that. And talk about two guys who know each other's game. A lot of respect for each other there. Yeah, good. Mr. Steve Lomax in the chat saying hi to Mr. Foresight. Hello, Steve. Good to, good to have you around, buddy. Um, see you in about three weeks. Got about ten minutes before Mike does the uh, intros, I guess. Is that right? Does he start? Well, if he starts right at eight, or may, sometimes he starts a little early yeah, if, if they're ready to go. He'll probably start a little bit early for us. Have uh, Levi Combs that helps out Hockey Stats and Mr. Pat Fleming there in the chat saying hello. hello, Levi. Hey, Levi. What is the uh, schedule for the rest of the evening? There's another match at 10 o'clock, correct? Yes. And that then is correct. And, and tomorrow, what do you have? Just semis and finals tomorrow? Is that no, what we're up to? No, we have quarter semis and finals. Oh, okay. We also have a list that suggestions that you could write down and we could answer the questions in the morning after our coffee. I just might have to scoot early tomorrow. I have the bike up here, so I might, I might. Well, I hope, I hope you have the great weather. It's supposed to be about 70s to 75. But I know you, you're uh, That's going to be good. No, it, 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 rain, it'll be going. good. I checked the weather before I left, but uh, now that you're talking about the quarters, and I might as well just stay. In fact, uh, me and Jerry can just hang out. Jerry? 
Um, well, you know, you know, <laughs> the thing is, you know, we're so close. That, uh, we never miss you when you're gone. I need that expertise, and 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 and, and I didn't. That forget, went right over his head. And, uh, and I didn't forget that little statement from Castle, and we were graced with uh, Eddie gonna die on his sailboat, Colhane. Yeah, that was that was <laughs> classic yes. stuff. That was really good. I appreciate that. <laughs> Victor, Eddie Colhane, the Vic, future dead sailor. <laughs> Victor now says that he goes, "You must be crazy. There's pirates out there." <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, you know, since this match is about to take place. As they watch the Scorpion warm up, the crowd starts to swarm down this way with standing room only yes. down at this edge is, of the, is uh, the arena. Is the table mic mic number 10? The table mic is number 10. Yeah, that's yes. what I asked. Okay. Yes, the only other one that should be on beside the three of us. Yeah. And the bleaches uh, actually are starting to fill up towards this end down here. I tell you what, one of the things I'm really looking forward to in this match is that both of these guys know the firepower of the other one. So I'm looking for some really fantastic safety plays. Uh, yeah, and a lot of, a lot of run outs. Uh, man, once, just, once one of them gets control yeah, of the table, yeah. Oh boy, yeah. It's going to be great to watch. Well, I see Jason up a few more tables also. Just think, these guys have been playing each other for over 25 years. Hopefully the winner is here. Yeah, both from the south, they probably played quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they ran into each other everywhere. Sure. And at first it was all Earl, then it was all Johnny. Champions. At their best. Yeah, yeah when you're... Uh, my God, he must have been player of a decade, more than one decade, I believe, correct? Which one? I don't know. John Archer. Was Archer, play, was, player Archer, of the was, decade. Archer was player of the decade in the 90s. Just one one yeah. decade? Yeah, Strickland, okay. Strickland was player of the decade in the 80s. Well, that's yeah. a pretty and, good... Uh, and in the thousands, it was a uh, shame. That's pretty good credentials for, you know, uh, a player, correct? You know, it is not, <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> I mean, you got you got to have pretty good to, to be the player of the decade, don't you? You know, what I mean, and you have to be a little, for the, a little for the, consistent for the whole ten years. <laughs> good thing you're on the boat. You can't Not, be a one shot wonder to get that player of the decade. It's thing. a good thing we're on the same page here, Mr. Forsythe. <laughs> yeah, I like seeing you every now and then, once a year actually. This is tw what happened twice a year. Now they're going to have this, correct? Turning Stone's going to be twice a year again. Uh, it was yeah. only once this year, right? Yeah, back in January. January. And just to bring you up to date with the scheduling, this is the 8 o'clock round is about to be announced by Mr. Zuggerman. And then it'll be a 10 o'clock match, and we'll bring you up to date what match that will be. And then Sunday, of course, we start at 11 a.m. 1, and you can see it right there on the screen, all the way till the finals. And if you want to follow Upstate Out and live stream news, there you go. It's on Twitter, live stream news one on Twitter. Earl's Earl's picking it. Hey, we got to get to the raffle for the stick as Mr. Strickland is picking a ticket. For the Joss Q, right? Yeah. There's two yeah. of them, I think. No, just one tonight and one tomorrow night. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Look at Johnny. <laughs> Johnny made like he Who won. is it? Johnny made like he won it. <laughs> I couldn't hear him, Eddie. Who won it? I don't know. Tony someone. And uh, I'm sorry, I didn't get the name. I don't want to ask Johnny, but that's all right. Did he say Tony was the first name? Yeah, I think so. Was it Tony Fox? I don't know. Somebody that played in no, the tournament. No, he said somebody played in the tournament. Tony didn't play. Oh, okay. So we still have eight matches going this round, right? What you have on this floor here is um, a walking Moscone, American Moscone Cup team right here in front of us, the four tables. Yeah. <laughs> the whole yeah. of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except for 
Ernesto. Uh, no, Ernesto was on the team. Back oh, was in the, he? Back in the uh, 90s. And then you got Earl and Johnny and Chef and uh, uh, Jeremy's on the candidate. This would be the best tournament in pool for the fans. This is a great tournament. This is just, just the best I, I, for the fans. I you love can, this tournament. I mean, over Derby, over everything for the fans. If you ain't here, you're a sucker, you know? Well, it's free entry. Right. Stadium seating with uh, comfortable seats with uh, armrest. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty sweet. Absolutely. Sure. All right, here we go. Great food. Johnny, nice shot. Golly, that's sick. Johnny has to sit down in his seat. That's one of the rules. So I'm sure after he runs his last eight and nine ball, he will be in his seat. Johnny is uh, one that does follow rules as Earl gets up and I guess Earl wants to bang a few in too. <laughs> yeah, but Mike demands that they're in their chair when he's doing the introductions. Then they are. But Earl could probably clear this table before they get down here. Yeah, he probably can. Yeah, it doesn't take long. Yep, he's out. <laughs> yeah. This, this match won't take long either, folks. <laughs> You're right about that. Don't blink. <laughs> Look at how good he got here. <laughs> no, he's, he's amazing. 35 seconds. The table's clear. Yeah, Earl told me one time that every match should be played under a five-second shot clock. He wouldn't he yeah. love that. <laughs> wouldn't he love that. Yeah, he would. <laughs> Look at the quick work he did here. Go ahead, sit down, Earl. Sit down, Earl. Oh, he's, to, he's always doing Jeremy's table right now. Okay. Wow. And Nesto's having a good day, isn't he? Yeah. He's had some hard comebacks here, and, and he's played really He was well. down four in one match, down five in yeah, another match, yeah. and won them both. Yeah. Donnie Mills match, right? Yeah, that was a big one. Yeah, him and Donnie Mills missed that nine ball, one apiece. He just played Mike Yednack and beat him. He was trailing five to one against Donnie and uh, wound up coming wow. back. And here's the introduction. There we go. Nice. Pumped up here. You know, uh, well, the players elect to get on the way. They're going to lag for the break. The mighty Earl on your right side of your line, and Tennis Scorpion on your left. And this is the feature match for the. Well, it looks like. Uh, oh, it's going to be close. Yeah, it looks like Earl got him. Earl got him. Yeah. By about by about a three eighths, maybe of an inch. <laughs> You know, the B 
ETV and NYC Grind will be moving into Mr. Q's in Lindenhurst, New York, out on the island to bring you the Predator Pro-Am Tour. Mr. Tony Robles and his lovely wife, Gail, we're going to be streaming the amateur event plus the open pro event. If you want to play, get in touch with Scott Murphy, who owns that room, or Tony Robles, and tell him you want in. I understand the field is filling up. And Tony and Gail, if you're listening, this is Jerry. I hope to see you soon. I wish you all all the best. Absolutely, and Cranberry, cheers to you. <laughs> Here we go. Girl with the snap. Using the cut break. Watch the seven and the one. Mm, he needed it. He, and uh, wow, well, wide open table here. Yeah, Johnny's got an easy shot on the one, yeah. and everything's got a pocket. Johnny's in good shape here now. Going to play the three in the same corner as the two now. He's a multiple winner on our Josh Northeast Nine Ball Tour. He's sponsored by Snuckers and OBQs, one of our sponsors and one of our uh, host rooms, Mike Fishane, right there. And his opponent from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, two time world. Yeah, good speed there. Yeah. A little harder, he would have had that side pocket. He may be a little straight on this ball, though. Yeah, and he, well. Can you see from where you're sitting? Does he have an angle? I, I think he's going to come down to the short rail with the cue. And uh, has he got that angle I to think, do that? I think he does to, to to about the half diamond point and roll up as much as he can for the four. Oh, he had more angle. Wow, than he thought. had. He had. Yeah, that was a great shot there. He got perfect on the four for the five. Yep. That was deceiving on the screen to see how much of an angle he did have. It often is. Hunter Lombardo is shooting real well. Hunter is shooting great. He must be. If he got this far, this late, he's you know, a lot of heavy hitters. He's had some big matches too. Oh, he's had some tremendous matches. Yeah. And, and you know, the thing about Hunter is he's so dedicated to the game. He works hard at his game. He really loves it. He was playing straight pool in the last few months in the in the worlds and um, the qualifiers, and, and he and he really got inter picked up an interest in it. And he said he was going to concentrate on it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Nice shot, Johnny. Look at that. That was well hit. <laughs> he never fails to amaze me. This is going to be a do not miss. Uh, I'm going right to count the misses in the match, and I, I bet uh, that, that could be a one hand proposition. Yeah, I would imagine it would be. Probably no more than four. M misses, yeah. Four misses in a race tonight is too much. You may yeah. not see, you may not see a miss here for I, the whole match. I know. And I don't mean you know yeah, misunderstand a, on a safety or yeah, something. Right, I'm I understand. About yeah. an open shot. Right, right. One nothing, Archer. One nothing, Archer. Second dry break we saw. Wow. Well, the five ball cliffhanger. Yeah, but it's not going. Yeah, he's in. Well, he's in pretty good shape. He's in real good yeah, shape. Yeah, that, that three is, you know, it's, he's got a window for the three, but it's not great. He's in great shape. It's Earl Strickland. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> How's that? That's right. <laughs> Very nice. Look at that. You know, that was such a well hit ball. Just that simple shot right there, but just to get that good on the two. And look how good he gets on the three here. He's got to wonder how many millions of balls this man's pocketed over the years. Yeah, um, you got to figure him to be out here. He's not perfect. Look at that. <laughs> I love this. I showed him that shot. Golly. That was real good. He's good here. Shooting left-handed? Yeah, he could use the bridge here and be uh, a little more yeah, careful. Yeah, I was going to say, get the bridge. Yeah, this isn't playtime here, you know. Oh, look He's at the good. length of that bridge. I thought he wasn't going to get out underneath that eight there for a second, but he did good. He's just going to bounce down halfway here, and he's good for the six. He's real good. It is Earl. Well, you've been watching him for a lot of years, haven't you? Oh, man, yeah. He's, he's, I mean, even before he really went to, went off. Right? Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, I grew, we both grew up in North Carolina. Right, right. <clears throat> but uh, the thing that has always amazed me, well, really about both these guys, is the fantastic speed control they have on that cue ball. Yeah, it's pinpoint sometimes. It's amazing. Yeah. And with Earl, of course, nobody spins a ball around a table better than Earl. No, no. He, yeah. Larry Russ showed me some of the stuff that he showed him, and I was in awe sometimes. Uh, Larry Russ picked up a lot just from hanging with Earl and, you know, helping him out and stuff, and he got straight here. He didn't like it. Yeah, he's now, you know what? He's just going to draw this back and let out the stroke, I think. You follow? Yes, I follow. I like that term, bro. Let's get used to it. But <laughs> see, I, I uh, see. To me, it looks like he's got the angle where he can just to, to follow stun it, it and come up a yeah, little. Yeah, come up. Right. But we'll see. See what he does. He's drawing. Oh, oh he does have an angle. Yeah. yeah. He's drawing it. He does. Yeah. He's got his. That's right, Earl. See, he picked that up for me too. Yeah. Nice shot, Earl. That was a good shot. I mean, it was it wasn't extremely difficult. You just had to draw straight back. I think the only thing Earl's ever picked up from you, Eddie, is the flu. Thanks. Yeah, unfortunately, it might be the issue. <coughs> I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Jeremy just <laughs> found there uh, shooting the seven. And you can get all the live updates of these scores on AZ Billiards uh, up to the minute results and scores for the eight matches going on right now. Well, let's see if we can get a ball down on a break shot. This table's breaking tough right now. Yeah, it's been getting that way for the last couple of matches. Uh, mm -hmm. Whether they're racking them in a different position or not, I'm not sure. A lot of the wing balls were going in prior to that. Rob Sayas and Warren had no problem here. In the beginning, they did. Yeah. yeah. They had they come up dry in a couple little breaks yeah, in the very beginning of the match. Then they found the sweet spot or the speed yeah, yeah. and adjusted. See if Earl can do something here. Oh. There's a ball down. Well, looked like the two ball got kicked into the corner. And he's got the one. Now, where's the three? Okay, he's got to just hung the rail, hug the rail with the cue ball after the one, and then he'll have a shot on the three. He can't do anything else here. Unless he likes to. I think it's gonna, he's going to bring that cue ball down one rail past the side pocket. Well, uh, we're a lot right alongside it. He needs to. Well, you think he'd come all the way down that far? Yeah. Not just take the. Straight pull break type shot, type shot with the three. I don't think so because position on the four is so much easier right, if he comes right. down further. But he, he surprised me a lot of times in the past. He got the side pocket. Oh no, he has the. Well, he's he overran it a little bit, but he's going to be in great shape. Well, he might have to bump the four on the way up here, or go across table and back. Yeah, I think he's going to hit the four on this. If, I think he's going to hit the four if he plays the three in the corner, unless he draws up it above it and plays the four down in the corner, you don't left think hand he, corner. You don't, you don't think he can follow past it? I think he's going to. I think he can follow past it without hitting. Oh, it. you think so? Yeah. Well, that but again, but again, I'm looking at a monitor, so the angle could be way off. Yeah, I'm looking at the table, and I'm looking at the table. Uh, yeah, he's drawing up above it. Look at that touch. 
Well, Good I meant night. I meant draw above it to play it in the left hand pocket. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's doing it wrong. Yeah, sure he is. <laughs> he did it wrong. He just doesn't have your experience. No, Eddie. he just didn't know. You know. <laughs> okay. It was a good call. I never expected to see that control on that shot, you know? Jacked up like that. You follow? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I follow. Right. I Just follow. One. Harold wanted to be a little bit more to his right, but... Uh, no, no, he's perfect. He's he wanted perfect. it to be a little bit more to his right. But he's still okay. Recoups very well. As you can see, when his body language and his face, and he pointed a stick where he wanted that cue ball to be after making that six. Well, this is our third game and no misses so far. Yeah, I think if you see a miss here, there's going to be an investigation. How many of you out there have played three games of nine ball in a row where nobody missed? Well, if yeah, well, th that's all well and good, but if they think they're going to miss, they're just going to play the safety. They're not going to take a chance on They're not going to miss, I think. How's that? What would that make their... their their total performance average, like Pat has, is uh, depends on how they do on their safeties and if they ever scratch. How they do on the break. How are they doing right now? Yeah, you know, I, know I've, I have never learned Pat's system oh, thoroughly yeah. enough to be able to say, yeah. tell you. I, I'll just let Pat do it. Yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, Pat's good at it too. He knows how to do it. He does it well, and, and it's interesting the way the numbers come up. You know. Yeah. But th I'd like to see the numbers right here. And you can run that. When you get home, you run the numbers and watch this I, video. I don't know if there's any penalty for not making the ball on the break. I don't think there is, but I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that could come into play, too. Since it, it is the four ball, and he's on the one. And, uh, okay, so what is the score on this match, sir? Two to one. Two, two to one, soon to be three to one. You don't follow up the good, do you? I follow fine. <laughs> two to one. Earl Strickland. He's a little on the roof that he didn't want to be. He's complaining about a little. And what do you think here? He draws his back, or just stop it right there. Stop it. Yeah, yeah. just stop it right there. You don't there. have to do much at all. With you that. don't have to do a thing. The same touch on this three ball, and he'll get on the five. If, Good. If, if he were to put the cue ball in the middle of the table on every shot, he'll, he'd run out from here. Yeah, yeah. Well, except for the nine ball. Wow, well, so now he's got to draw up and play the six in the opposite corner. No. Yeah, he's going to draw straight back up. I, I he draws up to the side pocket. He's going to follow three rails. He better not. One, two. Watch and the, the side, side pocket. You know, I tried to. The side pocket. There's three. <laughs> nice shot, Earl. Thank you, Earl. You saved me, buddy. I didn't like it. I liked my shot better. Look at now he's on the rail. He's got a jack up on this for the seven. My shot was better. Yeah, Earl's and never never had to shoot jacked up before. I, 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 <laughs> I tried to help him out before. <laughs> I tried to help him out before and he listened. And then there's these times you don't listen to where now he runs into this difficulty. Oh my. Wow. Miss number yeah, one. That's a surprise right there. First look miss. at this, he's praying for the hook. He didn't get him. I don't think so. Johnny's got the six, yeah. And Earl, if you're going to watch this later on, I'm only kidding about everything. <laughs> okay. Here goes the scorpion. Well. What do you see here, Jerry? You know mean for I, position? You know what I like right here? No, don't. Honest to God, what I like here is the seven and, and come up two rails for the eight in the side. Come up two rails. Yeah, come over two rails for the eight in the side. He's not going to do that. You might look for I think it's. I think it's a good shot. It's a natural get in there. I'm not sure which two rails you're speaking it's of. Two rails. The bottom rail and the left long rail. And, and okay. you just spin around and come up for the eight in the side. Yeah, see, he's... Uh, well, he's Johnny Archer, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I was thinking. I see. Uh, I see. Um, uh, my buddy over there.
I'm thinking he might just draw this to the rail and draw it back down table. Draw this to the side rail and now he's going forward. Safe bet one rail. Oh. Or, three, or three right. rails. Watch the corner. Look what you did, Johnny. That's crucial. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Earl's. What is that? I don't know. He's He said something about the car. Earl wants us to announce how the, that rail grabbed one of the one of the balls he missed, but he, I don't. Oh, he, oh, did he, miss oh he wants to. Yeah, yeah. He just needed it announced. <laughs> he's he's Earl? Earl's dancing with the crowd a little bit. It's kind of fun, entertaining. Earl, he's become quite yeah. a great entertainer. Well, you know what he liked? Yeah, he's like he's liking it. He's feeding off it a little bit too, it, you know. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah, in instead of uh, talking to the crowd, now he's entertaining. Yeah. I think it's great. It is great. You know what? That's uh, it's it's uh, well, Alex does that stuff too. Alex. Oh, yeah. oh boy, Alex. And Alex is great. He's you know, Alex is great for the game. Real personal with the crowd, you know. Well, not many people have have gotten the fans as excited about this game as Earl Strickland. Mm -hmm. Boy, I mean. You talk about a legion of fans. Everybody wants to watch. And, and, and the most recognizable voice in the game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you cannot mistake it. Because once, once you hear it, your head turns. Yeah. And, and you can hear him when he comes in the room. It's so funny. His voice carries. Yeah, Seven yeah. ball fell into the corner. Earl does have a shot on the one. And with the six, he can use it as a stopper right there and save position for the two ball right that's hanging near the well, left side pocket. You know, that's... that's. You Are know, you playing devil's advocate again? This is a tough ball just to make. He's going to really? stop on the six. Talking about Earl Strickland. Uh oh <laughs> Maybe you meant... Uh, yeah, I, thought he, I thought he was going to mess Maybe the you meant two the up. two in the side here. Is that what you were talking about? <laughs> wow. Boy, did he... He's, you know what? He stole that cue ball so good, I didn't think he could hold it. Look at him. Look at him. He's a machine. This is over in 35 seconds, the whole game. It can be. I've seen, him, whole, yeah, I've seen him play I've got a game. timer right now. I've seen him play a rack in less than a minute. But he's playing Johnny. He's, yeah, okay. he's not going to rush right. it. Well, he did Johnny. the same thing with Jeremy last year. He ran out in 35 seconds. Yeah. Now he's up to 10, so he's stalling a little bit. And yeah, he's stalling on you. Put him on the clock. Tell him he's on the clock. <laughs> He'd love to be on the clock. going to take a 4-1 lead here. That's pretty strong. It's like Johnny giving Earl three on the wire. In, yeah. You know. Yeah. It's That's a little tough. Three on the wire in a race to eight. It, that's what it's uh, like I've right I've seen here. Johnny in a lot worse predicaments and come back to win, too. So. Oh, yeah. He could put it all together real quick. Once Johnny gets on the table, he can run rack after rack mm -hmm. after rack. Just got to get back on the table. Pretty good stuff we're watching here. Nice run. Four. AccuStats, make it happen, folks. Coming up real quick, November 6th through the 9th. Go over to AccuStats.com. Check them out. They'll also be doing this 8-ball invitational and then heading down to Chesapeake, Virginia to bring you the U.S. Open. Keep up to date with AccuStats on AccuStats.com. <laughs> Earl's getting a little frustrated with Jeremy's trying to get a tight rack up there, and he's, Earl just wants to snap off the break. And it's three ball, but he's got to play a safety. Now let's see how Earl ties up Johnny here. Not going to be an easy save here, I don't think. No, 
it's not it. I think he'll just bank the one ball back down into this pack. But yeah, he did too, and he did. <clears throat> he got the four to, to hold it. Look at that, good shot. He left him a, a, a two rail kick off the corner here. If he has to lean through that six and four there, I think he does. Do you think he does? Looking down the I line from the queue to the corner pocket. I don't know. I, I can't see it on this monitor. No. I can't see the table like you can. He can't come inside under the nine to hit it and spin it or anything like that, but he might have uh, to hope for that corner. Oh, he might have a, a gap between the eight and nine. Boy, if he does, that's tight. Oh, oh what a great hit. Truck nice either. shot. But now, now Earl's wide open here. Tough, at, tough, um, tough shot to begin with, though. Yeah, well, he can just Especially draw this sure. up to the top rail and play the two down in that left-hand corner. Yeah. Yeah. God, there you really go. Look at the reverse. He's yeah. That ball. He really hit that well, didn't he? It's smooth. And it looked perfect too. The angle and everything. Uh oh. <gasps> missed, missed, missed number, number two. two. So Both on Earl. He, he must have rolled off. He ain't blaming that on the they table. Didn't, didn't no, he can't blame. No, he hit that bad. He he really. He really rushed it. Well, he rushes all of them, too, so I can't say. Yeah. He just gets up and, and shoots him in the hole. He's done it a million times, two million. Maybe more than two million, correct? Oh, sure. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and think, two it, think about it. And two million is a lot. He might make a thousand balls a day. So after three Ooh, years, yeah, that's a, three sure. years, that's a million balls. Uh, Johnny, well, Johnny can go up and down here. Good shot. Down and up, it's, it wasn't up and down, same thing. Now the the eight nine, he's got to get good on the seven for the eight. He's got a million pockets except for one, so he's all right. I guess he's got the eight in the side here. That's laying perfect for the eight in the side. Uh, uh, although he he wanted to be a, a little straighter and get on the other side to play the eight in the lower left hand corner, but I'd take that eight in the side right now. He just has to pocket speed the seven here to get it. He's going forward. Oh, wow. Well, look what happened here. Miss number Miss three. Number three. Yeah. Two for Earl, one for Johnny. He I did. must say, I'm surprised. Yeah, I didn't Yeah, I didn't think he needed to force that over like that. I thought he had the eight inside. And yeah, they're diamonds, but it was still a relatively easy side, side pocket shot, I think. That was a nice hit. He reversed that a little bit to hold it. That was nice. How do you think he'll get shape here, Eddie? <laughs> I don't Earl know. He's in good shape in the one. match, though. I'll tell you what. Tearing it up. The Tearing it up, isn't he? The, the defending champ. Yes, he is. And uh, you know, it might be a repeat. In the, in the 80s and 90s, when Earl would play, the closer he got to the finish line, the more focused he became, and the more the more he could smell that blood, the better he played. Yeah, I could understand that. That's a, it's a different feeling when you get on later on in the tournament. Yeah, especially yeah. when he was under pressure. Yeah. Pressure just seemed to spur him on. Yeah, yeah. He's got a lot of drive to win right here. You, you can see it in his attitude and his demeanor walking around. Just now, he's... Uh, He, he knows this is big, big. He'd like a three -peat, a repeat here for the championship. Yeah. Earl Strickland, five to one. We're racing to nine. Breaks him, makes the wow. wing ball. And got on the one for the yes. one Ooh. six combo. That's but it's not the easiest combo in the world with well, that six that far off the rail. Yeah, but it is straight in. All he has to do is pocket the one and he'll make the six. I don't like this shot. I'm telling you, I don't like this shot. Queuing over that four ball. It's Earl. I know. 
And he makes it look so easy. Yeah. Well, he's got the same thing with the two five, I guess. He hit that a little weak, but he got the two. But he didn't need to be like that either. Now he's got to do an inside English to hold the cue there for the two after the five. You don't want to go over by that side pocket. You better hit this correctly, sir. He's a favorite to make this and get on it. Well, he hit the eight. He had a lot of insight on that. And Johnny's uh, in the chair, and, and uh, he's got nowhere to go. He just sit there, and Earl could just get up and snap it off again on the break. Yeah. And again, you know, it's a good pool to watch. And I guess when they were talking about when nine ball was good for television, and that's the reason it was good for television. This, the, this is the nine ball they were talking about watching. Exactly. <laughs> Correct. Exactly. There you go, Earl. Well, we're about a half hour into this match. Two thirds is gone. And Earl Strickland already has six. With and no sign of letting up here. Balls down, B boy, and uh, maybe a window on the maybe one. Maybe a window on the one. Let me run around the room and give you some scores. Brandon Shuff leading Warren Camco three to two. Jason, Sh wait a minute, is this this round? Yeah, Jason Shaw ahead of Kevin Gimon, five to two. D Dominguez and Sosi are tied at two. You know this score, of course. Jerry Crow leads Mika Eminent three to two. Wow. Torsten Homan leads John Moore three to two. Mike DeShane leads Shane Van Boning three to two. And Rodney Morris is leading Hunter Lombardo three to two. Three to two is a very popular score around the room right now. Did you just did you just recognize the lineup you just called out? It was I know. <laughs> oh I know. My God. You don't know you re, you know what? This is such a great match to watch, but you could walk around here and, and not know what to watch. Correct? Oh, every match is great. You follow? It's fantastic. Or you could sit up in the bleachers and watch them all. There you go. Yeah, yeah. There's a few people up there a little higher than uh, others with ringside. Look how that goes behind. How do you do that? Folks, and if you want to keep abreast of all the scores and all the matches, you go to azbilliards.com and click the live scoring tab right on the front page. And you could see the scores of every match going on right now live. Plus the bracket link will be right there on the same page. Yep, and you can see who everybody's played, how they got to where they are now, what the scores were. Now I think Johnny's been in the chair now for, this is the second game. I don't know about the game prior to the third, three games ago. I got news ago. for you. Johnny might not get out of the seat the way he, Earl's it's rocking. unbelievable. Him. Look at this. He's going to have the nine in the side here. It's there perfect. Was only three misses so far. This, this man is going to be tough, tough to beat here. I don't care who it is. He's just on a mission. There you have it. 7-1 as the crowd erupts. Nice applause there, too. That was a nice applause. He's got the crowd on the side for sure. The, the crowd gets thicker and higher on the bleaches, probably to the top. And Johnny. See some spaces in between. And John Tate Archer is just praying to get to the table. Yeah, he would love just, yeah, he, he doesn't have to get back. Aramis Balls. Now with that break. And Moby Cues, Josh Cues, some bonus cloth banners hanging all around the arena here. 
Earl back to the sorry go ahead eddie no no i was saying you were talking before earl found the sweet spot on the break here and, and he's he's got johnny in the chair for at least two games maybe one i, I think it's a, a minimum of two so he's on a two pack here or maybe a three and there's the eight and he's got another he has a window for the one no, maybe not doesn't go by the six he might have a, some paint and play safe and bring it down by the two ball. Oh, he's got the one. And I just didn't know if he could make it be in between the five and six. And hide the cue ball up table. Or he could just, well, he could, if, well, if he was slower like that. You got any kind of straight jacket, anything in the back of your car? Or you something? could just slow it. <laughs> <laughs> you could just slow roll it over like that. See, look what you got to love him. You got to know him to love him. I'll he, tell you, boy, oh boy. You, you guys are vicious. <laughs> I got grandkids maybe watching this. You better knock it oh, off. Oh, sorry about that. We don't mean any harm towards Grandpa. <laughs> it's okay, Cameron. Got to put him away now. Make sure you put him away soon when he gets back. <laughs> don't drop me off at the horse track in my wheelchair. <laughs> Eddie's the only reason I'm not sure I want to do away with capital punishment. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are vicious. Here I do and grace you with my presence. And we love you, Ed. We love to have you. <laughs> All right, Johnny's got a. I'll be sure you close the chat by going to full screen. Johnny's got the whole ball here on the one, but to hold this for the two. Jerry just answering a question from oh, the chat room. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know what he was doing. You follow? You, you, you never have. You, you know, you know. Are you, are you talking to me or the stream? Is he talking to the stream or me? Well, I wouldn't be talking to you. What happened here? <laughs> Now oh, I got. Now I have to read. It's nothing. Is yeah. it about me, yeah, bro? I'm sorry about that, folks. Mr. Foresight comes out with those one-liners every <laughs> once in a while. He just wants to oh, joke. Oh, you. Yeah, there's people talking. Is that Bobby? Who's that? They're talking about me? I can't stand it. We got this world championship match right in front of us here, Ed. Yeah, he's got a kick at this. Wow, a nice hit. Kick and make it. Go, Johnny. Yeah, but the speed. Uh, on the he needs ball. the point. He's got the point. He's got the point, but it helped him out a little bit. He's got another safety to play here. Johnny just looking to let his stroke out. He's you been know what? in that seat for quite a while. No time like the present. He can cut this two in and keep going or play the safety. I'm sorry, I was looking at the chat room. How did he get to the table? I don't know. I was I was looking at the did chat. Did Earl miss a shot? You guys are not paying attention. Why do I have you Did guys Earl miss a shot? No, he didn't miss a shot. The, okay. the, the term, Al. He, played a, he tried to play a safe. The term, Al, is that Jerry's. Now Johnny snoozed. played a real good save. That's Jerry good. snoozed the move. Yeah. Snoozed the move. How's that? That's it. We like that one. Jerry, you're there. You're doing all right. Now, what kind of hit we got here? This will be a great hit. All well, two rails into the two bowl. Looks <coughs> like he's got enough of the cue. Maybe he could go one. Or if the left, the left long rail here, maybe he's got it. But I don't know if he can get by the nine. That's what he's looking at now. Well, remember how much he can spin a cue ball. Yeah. I like coming off the short rail, right long rail. Wow, he's and going to the two. I do too. He's going to. It doesn't, doesn't look like that's what he's doing. If he's going to. And he sure knows better than we. Yep, we got the headsets on and he's got the cue. He's well, gonna he's going to spin it. Here we go. This will be a great hit if he gets this, but this is no pick a nick. No pick a nick. He, wow, he got the hit. Is that like that? Nice shot, Earl. Is that like that, that was disease a, from Jersey? No that, pick a nick and funds a low? That is a world-class hit right there. That was beautiful. Well, I get a feeling Earl's going to be looking at the back of the sixth ball right now. Yeah, I do too. I think he's going to be looking at... Cut, cut the two. Where'd you pick this cut, guy? Come on, cut the two and, and hide We're behind. We're going to drop him back listen, off. Listen, up, stay down. Cut the two and hide behind the three here. Come on. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right. Or do that. All right. He's got behind the three, Ed. I you didn't mean that like way. I didn't mean that way, all right? But it, but it was a good shot. You guys are picking on me. <laughs> no, not at all. If Earl wants to, he was the first player that I personally ever saw a jump with a full play in cue, and he does it very, very well. But he's not. He's he was the first kick. person to use a full cue? He was the first person I saw do really? it. Really? No, there were, there were other people doing it, but he, like right. Sammy Jones. But... He was the uh, first person I saw. Boy, there's a blast from the past. Sammy Jones was married to Lori John at one time, right? He used to come to Elizabeth all the time, yeah. West End. Yeah. yeah I like Sammy. Indeed. He was a good guy. They, they owned a pool room, right, in Greenbrook? I don't remember. I think they, they, they the still do. I remember them hanging out at West End. We used yeah. to buy the Muchies off them. Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah. 
I remember Sammy Jones playing Sammy Guzman. S some Rest big, big peace. money matches then. Huh? All right, Johnny's back at the office. Finally, he's got a decent shot now. And he's playing this in the right-hand corner all the way down the line here. Wow, how'd he hit it? Look at that. Look how good Johnny got. He got good on the four and the side here. He did pretty good holding that from that cut. Johnny's got a lot of reverse shots going on here, but now he's in line. He's good. So maybe he'll get back in it here against Earl. He didn't want to be sitting in that chair any longer, that's for sure. He's not happy with his speed. This is the third time he wasn't on this rack. He well, wasn't happy with his speed. Back for yeah, no, he was good, but he just didn't like the way it ended up. He, we knew he was going to get on the seven, but he just shook his head after he got to the five to the six. Okay, get on the board here. Well, seven to two. Well, seven to two is, it's not as bad as eight to one against Earl. You know, if you're eight to one hey, against Earl. It's listen, Archer is never out on it. No, no, no. If you <laughs> and, 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 and who wouldn't want to see a comeback here? And it's not that, uh, it's nothing about nothing against Earl, nothing. but Johnny it's doesn't have to let him back to the it, table. Right, it's nothing against Earl is correct, yeah. You got all three two matches going on around the room. Standing room only yeah. midship here at the Turning Stone Casino. See Jeremy Sosi, Brandon Shaw, Jason Shaw. What a lineup right there. His a Moscone Cup team. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Ernesto Dominguez, Johnny Acha, back to the action. Ernesto's fighting hard. There's a nice break. Watch that one, a cue ball. And he's got no two ball here. Now, here's a good question, Jerry. Yes, sir. Where do you push from here against Earl Strickland? Uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> really. If you're if you're Johnny Archer, or if you're, well, see, if you're Johnny Archer, see, you're see, supposed see, to know. See where Johnny's hand is on the rail. Right. That's where you push. Through. Yeah. If you're, maybe Johnny Archer is the only one that can answer that question right here. Where do you push against Earl Strickland here? John, Johnny loves long shots. He's always been great at. Well, him. yeah. Well, this would just be a long safety here. You follow? Yeah. Okay, I just want to know if you follow. Well, he might be able to see a little paint of this two ball. Well, that would be different, but I don't know if enough to hide but, it behind but that six. Yeah, yeah, he, he could never. Yeah he's, yeah, he's going right up there. Good call. Oh. He's, he's double thinking it now. Yeah. yeah. He's going to hit the four ball. Oh, he's going to tie the table up a little bit. No, he's getting rid of a duck, I guess. I don't know. How did Jerry Forsythe call that? right where Johnny had his hand. Earl bounces out of his seat. Can't wait to take a look because Earl can make long shots just as well as Johnny can. Gonna this play it safe. He's gonna bump the nine or just. Wow, look how good he hit it. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. He uh, didn't want that to happen. He's got a window, believe and, it or not. And he hit that, he does have a window, but he hit that so good. Who was expecting that six to go in? He's fortunate to have the window here, actually. Yeah, very fortunate. Otherwise, Johnny's going to get up another game here and, uh, you know, turn it into a more of a contest. But what do you do here? I right mean, you've got, you got to draw the cue ball back behind these colors. Yeah, and play just safe. go off the rail and hide under the 9-5 nine, nine, here, yeah. Yeah, 9-5-8. Just send that? it uptown, yeah. Only well, a little hard. Yes, it is. It's leaked out, and he's yeah. given Archer the opportunity yeah. he needs. With good position to get where he needs to get to. Yes, sir. He can make the two and get natural shape on the three and yeah John, you know what yeah, it's Johnny Archer you can pretty much bet he's out from here does the five ball pass the eight into the lower right yeah, corner yes it does well taking a look at the chat I see a few people are having problems with the stream folks we're pumping it out top notch the best we can get it out there it's uh, just a few issues we're not sure exactly what they are uh, we are approaching 1200 viewers at the moment uh, I feel for you, to be honest with you. Try refreshing or using a different browser. 
I had a few people come by and say that their tablets are working just fine. They're here at the venue. Um, I had a few people at home say that when they try to view it on the laptop, it looked a little choppy, but when they got on their iPad and their phones, it looked great. Not sure what they're doing on the platform with Ustream, to be honest. We've been running smooth all day long, and now that the viewership is picking up, in fact, we're just about two viewers from 1,200. Um, I see a couple issues going on. I'm kind of shocked that Johnny's taking that half a pocket for this five ball when he had the whole pocket on the other side. There it was. I, he, That's going to be costly because I he agree. did leave the shot, too. That's the fourth miss, I'm and so, it's two apiece. I'm shocked he went for that. I mean, he look, he got down and looked at it. He had a half a pocket, and he had the whole pocket on the right side, and, and a good way to get on it. And I don't know where the hesitation was there, but it cost him now. Going to put Earl on the hill right now. Wow. That's a tough break for Johnny. Now, this is a winner side match, so Johnny's still in it. Anyway. Oh, yeah. He'll, yeah. Oh, he'll, yeah. Be, he'll be back. You bet. Oh, yeah. And with a vengeance, he, too. He may be back he, next round. He, he's, with a vengeance, he'll be back. Earl's on the hill, 8 to 2. Man. Johnny. Yeah, what a Johnny, show. Johnny's not happy about that one. Earl with the break on the hill. Now Johnny could be in his chair for the duration here too. And just you know, he hopes to get back to the table here even. Watch that cue ball. Try break. Johnny's got to like that, and he's got the one in the side or in the corner. He can cut it over if he had to. Johnny probably has to shoot that one in the side, maybe. Yeah. Well, if it goes by that three, I think it does. Of course, he may not like it with well, the he cue ball that close as that. He may decide to play safe. Wouldn't surprise well, Yeah, that. And if he's playing it down the corner, he has to come up and down. Maybe this, he maybe. sure doesn't want to give Earl any opportunity in this rack, or any other rack for that matter, for the rest of this match anyway. Where'd he go? Where did he go? He went safe. Well, he got good. I think he played the ball. He played the side. Two-way shot. Yes. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. And he got there good behind that two ball. Uh, that was a good shot. Folks, but just be aware, this is a winner side match, so the loser of this set will not be eliminated out of this tournament. We'll just get double dangerous, the double Ds on the B side, and have to have a we'll climb the ladder of about three other matches to be right back in it. So both players fully qualified to snap it off from the B side. Look at that hit. Well, it gave him well, it gave him a, a one a, a one nine combo on the roof though. No, he's not going to play that. Uh, it's straight, uh, right down the line. It's as straight as you could. It's ball in hand straight. Johnny Archer will play this nine ball. I think he would. I, I think he would. There's no possibility of a scratch here. You don't think so, Jerry? I don't think so. Really? And, and it's a two-way uh, shot. Jerry, you know him better I, I, I than I wouldn't anybody. if I were him. Doesn't you're, he misses it, he sells out. No, you're going to send the one-up table he's off playing. the line. He's playing. Of course he is. Get in. It was, it was, uh, it was somewhat of a two-way shot. He didn't leave him a shot here, except that the one up in the corner or a safety, but if he would have hit that a little harder, the one would have went uptown more. And uh, I, I did not expect him to do that. I thought he would do something where Earl would not have a shot. Well, you were looking at the, the TV screen. I was looking right down the line. That's on true. The you table. have a different. You have a different look at yeah. it. Yeah. And and look. Oh, oh, look at this. Look at that. Well, he didn't get him behind the nine. Like no, he's got a, he's got he an can, easy hit here. Yeah, he's got the hit. He liked the. He'd like the two real kick here, but I don't think he's got that. He should be just happy for the hit, the way he locked him up on that nine almost. Oh, you know what? He's got a curve around that. Not if he goes one rail. He can spin off the side rail. Does he have the the does he have Slight it straight Massey. through between the three and the eight? Slight mass safe. No, he's gonna go up. he's gonna go to the right oh, of the eight. Okay. And he had to take what he could and he hoped for the best here. 
and he didn't get it. And it was that could be lights out. Yeah. Was racing to the seven ball from yeah. here. That could right. be lights right. out. That's the only problem right here, the combination, and it's no no problem. <sighs> Bank that one in. Scared huh? me to death. Scared, that was like scared a, that Earl was like, too. That was like a four yeah. rail bank. And even John gave a little shrug on that. Yeah. Sometimes the balls know who's supposed to win. Uh, order two straight jackets, folks. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> We're certifiable. I was certified. Well, a maybe long time not. Ago. Jerry, Jerry's not certified. It's a race to the seven ball. Earl is such a perfectionist. He's mad at himself. Yeah, he doesn't like this. he doesn't like that shape at all. Yeah, he'll make it work, but he doesn't like it. He's going to follow this down with some inside to come straight back up, maybe. Be careful with the follow. Oh, he's going to draw it. Yeah, with his draw stroke. Yeah, yeah. I think I'd utilize that. Oh, he, oh, oh, he ah. drew it with inside. Look at drew that shot. Nice how, shot. How can you even think of that? That was a nice shot. You have to be an innovator like the man at the table right he's here. He's upset with that position. Because he's got a cue over the eight. Not not a lot of it, though. He could hit this with a snow shovel. Oh, he does have the cue over. Okay. <laughs> he's letting out the stroke shovel. here a little bit. Look at him. He's really letting out the stroke. He could have just feathered that thing in and played the six down in the corner. and He just let out the stroke right here. He's in his element. Well, we're 45 minutes, well, 47 minutes into this match, and Earl Strickland is on the verge of closing this set out against the Scorpion. Ooh, is, Earl is on the hill. And the Scorpion, who will be back in double elimination turning here. Perfect position to play this combination for the win, Mr. Strickland. There it is. There you have it. Earl Strickland defeats his buddy Johnny Archer, sends him over to the B side. Johnny Archer's far from done. Dangerous on the B side right now. Well, I'm upstate out. Jerry Forsythe was sitting in. Eddie Colhane was sitting in. I don't understand, Ed. What do you want me to do? I wanted you to focus on uh, um, the other table. Uh, um, Oh, okay. You know, so the viewers get to see the other table. Uh, in, I just have play. to close out the recording. Jerry Forsythe, Upstate Al, Ed Colhane sitting in the booth. We were glad uh, to have Eddie aboard. Without the straight <laughs> jackets. <And> Jerry Forsythe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Who can't wait to get out of here. He's sitting right next to Ed Colhane. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Good night, folks. We enjoyed it. Come back and see us in about, uh, let's see. Well, we've got a 10 o'clock match. Uh, yeah, 10 o'clock. It's going to be another great match. Do we know who it's going to be yet, or are we waiting Ooh. for the brackets to form up? We're going to give them an update as soon as we can. Okay. We're waiting for the brackets to form up. Thank you, everybody, for Stay tuning with in. Us. We're going to refresh the whole system and try our best. <laughs>